Welcome to the basement headquarters of the 1010 Club. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Jonah and I focus on affordable watch collecting and affordable watch reviews. And if you're just getting into watch collecting, I'm going to guess that sooner than later, you're going to want to get a watch repair kit. If you want to just change out some straps and maybe adjust bracelet size or do some more technical jobs like replacing the crystal or even swapping out a movement. The question will hit you though, what kind of kit should I buy? There is a ton of different watch repair kits out there from $25 up to a lot of money. Is it worth getting higher end tools or can you get by on the affordable tools? Well, one of the themes on this channel is I try for myself, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. So I have a $25 watch repair kit and I have a $70 watch repair kit. Let's go side by side, compare and contrast what has what, what's better than what, and is it worth spending more money on your first watch repair kit? All right, let's start with this watch tool box. I got this from Long Island Watch, $70 for this tool kit. This is the higher end, the highest end that they sell on the website. Comes with a polishing cloth, and we'll just run through everything kind of quickly. Case back opening tool with uh, adapters, you want to call them that. And here is your pin removal tool set. So this is the little vise that re removes the push pins. And when you want to put it back in, you can use this little setting guy. You put the bracelet in like that. Then you'd use the hammer and one of these two little guys to put in there. Doop, doop, doop. And you're set. And then four different screwdrivers. Now these are all gonna be flathead screwdrivers. A little loop. I think it's like two or three times magnification. And here is the spring bar tool that comes with this. So it's just a little pusher on one end. And here's a wider, bigger spring bar tool when compared with this little guy. And finally, a case back opener or a bezel popper offer, depending on what you're trying to get at. So that's everything that came in this box. Now, let's check out what I just got in the mail, which is what we'll be comparing this to, which is a $25 made in China watch repair and maintenance kit from eBay. 25 bucks, it just came in the mail today. So this will be like a half of a unboxing and half of a comparison because I actually haven't opened this yet. It's heavy, I'll tell you that. Let's go with the zipper pouch first. So, in here we have some similar items and some different items. So, like the last one, we have a case back opening tool plus the little adapters, a polishing cloth like last time, three instead of two of those uh, little tools that you'd hammer with. Three screwdrivers instead of four, although they are similarly all flathead screwdrivers. A pair of tweezers. A smaller spring bar removal tool that looks a lot more like the free one that I've been using. Bracelet pin removal tool. Another case back prior offer or bezel remover tool. And a little movement holder. The other box. We have more stuff. So here's a yellow version of the pin putter backer inner. Don't scream at the screen for me making up names. So this would be the hand set removal tool. Beep, beep, beep. And what was, oh, before we get to the heavy thing, here's a little blower to get the dust out. And this is what was making all the weight in this box. Well, first, they also have a hammer. And here it is. This would be the 
crystal press. And it comes with all these different die or pucks or little plastic things. You would then attach them to here and here. Press. So that is everything from the $25 kit. It's not fitting in frame, so let's uh, pause for a second and get everything all together. Let's put the let's put the inventory up side by side so we can compare and contrast. Looking at them side by side, to be quite honest, the quality seems very, very similar. I mean, over here, the little pin removal vise, it's just a piece of plastic with a big thread. And the same thing over here. It feels exactly the same to turn it and to use it. They both have large threads, which is helpful, but they're exactly the same. Screwdrivers. Also, these are nice. Machine that has grip. It rotates. You can also, if you can see, replace the screwdriver head if you need, and there's four of those. But the quality is very identical on these ones. Same thing. Pretty good grip. You can replace the tip if you want. And I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It, it does feel quite similar. Same thing with the case back removal tool. In fact, this one's bigger, so maybe you can even mess with some bigger watches. Very, very similar. The hammers. And let's just do a close up. They could have been made in the same exact place. Case back removal tool. Pretty simple. This is plastic. Same thing, plastic. In fact, this looks like it would work better. And the thing that actually I was very disappointed with with this more expensive toolkit is the spring bar removal tool. The only spring bar removal tool that was provided was this guy, and this is huge. This does not fit in any watch. In comparison with the one you get from the cheapo, this is what you need for most watches, a very small spring bar removal tool. We see them side by side. Like, <laughs> what are you changing? An elephant uses this guy to change his spring bar out. But the main reason I went and bought another kit and decided to have so many doubles of equipment is for the crystal press. And it came with all of these die. And it came with a blower. And it came with this hand removal tool. I'm very scared about removing hands, so maybe that will be way later down the road. And, sorry, forgetting things, this movement holder. So, this $25 kit came with one, two, three, four, five, six with the tweezers and seven, if you want to count the smaller spring bar removal tool, additional tools than the $70 higher end, and I'm saying that in quotes, watch kit. So is it worth getting the more expensive watch repair kit? If you're a beginner, I'm gonna tell you with 100% certainty, no, it's not. Save your money, get the beginner kit instead. I bought the $70 repair kit first. I thought I was being like the responsible watch owner. I wanna take better care of my watches. I wanna do the right thing. But I was disappointed with it even when I first opened it. It didn't come with tweezers, which I thought was a strange oversight. And also the spring bar removal tool, as I showed you, was giant. I couldn't use it for anything. So I bought a $70 watch repair kit that didn't have tweezers and didn't have a spring bar removal tool that was usable. To me, that's kind of inexcusable. Now I will say, of course, there is no comparison to like the Swiss made tools. Bergeon tools, fantastic, I'm sure. I'm not trying to say, buy this $25 made in China kit instead of going the Bergeon route. If you have the money or you have the expertise and you've grown out of these, of course you're going to go to the higher end. But if you're just starting out like I am fiddling with your watches, save your money, get the $25 kit from eBay. You're going to be a lot happier. And later down the road, you can see if you want to upgrade. Thanks so much for joining me again. Please do subscribe below. Two videos every week, Tuesdays and Fridays. 
So I'll see you soon.